So in recent times, I've been experimenting with prismatic cells and I'm trying to make a beginner friendly do it yourself like BMS system with all the safety features, but without spending like 500 to a thousand dollars. So I've been using these BMSs to trigger relays, which trigger battery protects. And it's kind of a silly idea. It's like a lot of unnecessary wires in my opinion. And so I was looking at this BMS and it's an 8S, so it's 24 volt for lithium iron phosphate. And it can handle 60 amps of discharge current and if you put them together in parallel like I've just done right now we should be able to theoretically get 120 amps out of these 120 amps at 24 volts can power a pretty good size inverter and I'm thinking maybe people can just get by with this and then for charging you want low temp protection so what you want to do is use a Victron with their temperature sensor so this would be very easy $30 $30 you can power a large inverter, you have low temp cutoff with the charge controller, and you're done. I mean, this is a lot simpler than any of the other ones I was doing previously, but I'm not sure if these will work in parallel that well. I've had a lot of people tell me that you can, but I personally have never stress tested these in parallel because I'm thinking that there might be slight differences inside and maybe one will trip before the other one will. And the moment that one trips, the other one will trip. And so I'm gonna put like a 100 to 120 amp load on this and we're gonna see if it can handle it because if it can, we have an awesome system. So I just checked the max discharge rate of these cells and it's 3C. So we are gonna be pushing these cells to the limit to power a 120 amp load. And now we have a little heater so we can finally do 3000 watts. So here we go. All right, let's do it. 119 amps. Let's see how long it will go for. 120 amps, this is insane. All right, I don't wanna hurt anything, so I'm going back down to 97. If it can hold 97 amps, this is really, really good. So let's just run this until it runs out of battery. Ooh. What's a bummer about this test is that these batteries are not full, but all I wanted to see is if these work well in parallel, and they do. They did not trip out, and we had that load going for quite a while. So now I've charged these batteries up all the way, and we're gonna do a capacity and load test. We're gonna see how long it can pull a 100 amp load, because 120 amps, I wouldn't trust any BMS that's rated for that to do that. And we have them in parallel, so you wanna bump it down a little bit. And right now we're pulling 105 amps, and we're gonna see how long it can pull this load for. So these wires are so hot that I don't recommend anybody pulling 100 amps. We're going to drop this down. This is just too much, but it's holding out. It's done 298 watt hours, so it definitely passed the output test. So we're going to do 80 amps and see how well it does. Uh oh, what do you know? 1046 watt hours that is so good i am always impressed by these Sinopoly cells they work so well so after this test i would say that it's safe to do 80 amps continuous but you need to make sure that these bms's are not mounted on the cells themselves unless you'll have degradation because you don't want these getting super hot there will be an increased performance but the charge cycle life will suffer and these are 125 degrees Fahrenheit right now. So if you do use these for high loads, you could actually put an extra heat sink on the front of this thing. But yeah, I would not be using this for large loads for prolonged duration. If you have large loads for short term, it can do it. And we actually did a large load all the way till this battery was done. So it can do it, but these will fail faster if you're pushing that much. I mean, this much heat is not good for any kind of electrical component. So with all that said, you can put these in parallel, but I wouldn't be pushing 120 amps. 80 amps is good. After studying the forums, I've noticed that the only time these really fail is when people push too much current through them. So if you want them to last a really long time, instead of like 80 amps, you should do like 70 amps and feel it. Make sure it's nice and cool to the touch. If you have small loads though, like if it's under 30 amps and you use a 60 amp, this will work really well for a long time. But yeah, that was a pretty fun test. I was still amazed that these Sinopolis at that C rate 
still have such a good capacity. These are really awesome cells. And if you guys want these batteries, check out my website. I have a whole like battery kit section now, so check it out. But let's think about this for a second. If these can only handle 40 amps each when they're in parallel without them getting super hot, if you're trying to use a big load for the whole capacity of your battery, you're gonna be better off spending a little bit more money for the AliExpress BMSs. People do complain about them, they do fail, you have to solder them, there's a lot more things to think about when you set it up but it would probably work a little bit better than this. But for the price and how easy it is to install, and if you don't have that many large loads, you can totally get by on this. So I think this is absolutely an option for people on a budget. And honestly, if you're not pushing more than 40 or 50 amps continuous all the time, you can just use one and you'll be fine. But I had a lot of people ask me if you can use two BMSs together, and now we know. It's really cool to do this test. One of them would have tripped out, and we actually never had an over current situation on this test. We only had low voltage disconnect. And I guess I could have pushed these even more. If you had cooling, you could probably push 120 amps non-stop. And I also did a single BMS test in a previous video and it worked really well. I pushed 60 amps for a long time and then I cranked it up to 80 amps and it disconnected. So these could probably push like 160 amps for like a minute or so. So it's a really good output still. I just want to be on the safe side. I want something that when I recommend it will last for years and years and people don't have to think about it. So if you use one of these and you drop the current, you'll be happy. So I hope you guys liked this video. It was fun to test these things out. And yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions on this. This is an interesting topic. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.